Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to do another TrueNAS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take and we're going to migrate a Nextcloud plugin from one TrueNAS to another TrueNAS. Let's get started. All right, here we go. So the first thing I want to say to you is that this technique will work for moving any jail from a true NAS to another true NAS, if you choose to do that. And should work for any plugin too. That you may run into some uh, uniqueness about that, that particular plugin or, or jail that may give you a couple of hurdles. But in this instance, we're gonna transfer a Nextcloud instance over to from one true NAS to another. And there's gonna be a couple hiccups along the way that I'm gonna show you how to get past. So, all right, here we go. Uh, here is one of my TrueNASs. This one here, this is the, uh, you know, it's got a Xeon in it. And then we got this other one over here, which has got a El Cheapo uh, E350 AMD. Uh, yes, in case you're wondering, it AMD does work. And this is like an old E350 CPU. It works on TrueNAS. So, and so let's go take a look at this guy right here and go down to plugins. And in this plugin, you are going to see that it has Nextcloud, right? So here's the Nextcloud instance. And, uh, and we're gonna take this one and we're gonna move it from here to the other one. It has to be stopped. So you wanna make sure that you stop the plugin before you try to do any of this stuff. Now, I also wanna point out one other thing. If you'll notice that this true nest that we're coming from is the 12.0-U1. And the one we're going to is a 12.0-U4. So it's a slightly newer one. And also I want to point out one other thing that when you go down here to the jails, or actually the plugin, I think you can see this in the plugin, expand this guy out, you will see that this is a 12.1 release P12 instance of this, this jail. So that's going to become important here in a, in a minute when we start this transfer. But let's let me show you how easy it is. First, stop it. So if you haven't stopped your your TrueNAS plugin or jail at the moment, you can go ahead and just click the little button that says stop down here. If you're if it's just a jail and not a plugin, you can do that from the jail side. There's a a stop that'll be in place of this start. I've already got them stopped, so that's okay. So what we need to do is SSH into our TrueNAS. So if you don't have SSH turned on in your TrueNAS and you're, you're gonna want to do this for this operation because it's way easier to do this via command line than try to go through the shell here. You can do it through the shell there, um, but honestly, I recommend just uh, SSHing in with um, your favorite terminal or Putty or, or whatever, if you run a Mac, you know, you can just do it straight from the terminal. If you're running a Linux box, you can obviously do it straight from there. Um, let me show you real quick. Go to services. And SSH, and you want to flip that on. Oh, the other thing you want to know, do in here is it log in as root. So you, you're going to want to have those things enabled so that you can effectively SSH in. All right, so SSH into your machine. This is this one. So I see this is mount tank IO cage. Uh, if you go to storage pools, you're gonna see the IO cage directories here. And you wanna do that if you don't have, on your new one, if you don't have uh, plugins set up already, you will have to uh, go ahead and initialize the location for the IO cage. Let me show you, show you that. Um, if you go up here, you can you can choose the pool lo location, okay? What you want to do is just type in IO cage. You can, you can stop them from a command line, but you want to do an export. And then you want the name of the jail. And in this case, it's going to be next jail, right? As you can see it right here. Let me just uh, make this stuff bigger. Let me go ahead and make this bigger too. Go ahead and hit enter. 
and it's going to do its export. This is going to take just a second. Be patient. Let it do it. Depends on how big your how much information you have in there. So it's it'll it may or may not take just a minute or may take a little bit longer. So be patient and it will finish. So once it gets the export process, then it's going to go ahead and compress it into a zip file. And that'll take it oh, a few minutes too. And you'll notice that it's going to do that. It's going to put a date stamp on there. So that if you decide you want to export this again, then you have uh, that option. And the beautiful thing is here is this export is a file, a zip file. So you can take that and you can back that up and keep it, keep it for uh, a later date if you needed to restore that uh, at a later date. Here it is for you. So just so you know, uh, uh, you, you need to find where your IO cage is, and then you can take a look at what you have there and you can go into images and you will see your next cloud zip file and a hash that you can use to verify that. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to copy this over to your new location, which is the new TrueNAS. So here's the new TrueNAS. And so if you go to it, you go to storage, pools, uh, you're going to see here data, IOQ, and then images. So and I've got that directory here and this directory here. Okay. So basically all you want to do is just SCP that over here, over there. Copy this. And there you go. And boom. That's going to ask you for your password. All right. So depending on how fast your network is or how fast your drives are, this will take uh, uh, some time. Okay. There you go. So that's copied over here. Now, first thing I want to do is this is the new location we go to the plugs in plugins and you will see that there are no plugins there now that we have copied that you will see that over here and what we need to do is import it in now you need to make sure you're you're logged into the correct TrueNAS when you do this import or otherwise you'll just be importing over the the one you already had <laughs> all right so here you go And then you take and you copy this file. There you go. You don't need the .zip portion and you run it. On this side, uh, so I'm SSH'd into the, the other one, the .27 PC. That'll take just a second to import and we'll refresh the page and uh, you'll see the new plugin. Okay, so that next cloud gel is imported. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. And there you go. There is our next cloud gel. So you might be thinking, okay, well, we're done. Let's go ahead and start. And the truth is, this could work for you. However, if you notice that it did not start, you go over here to the jail, and it still says down. Now, if you go to the from, move from the plugin to the jail and you click start, you're going to probably get a little bit more verbose of, an, of a report as to what's wrong. And so you see this right here, um, mount. So there's something wrong with the mount here, something going on here. Because there's something wrong with the mount, you want to look at this error and really closely. And I say, okay, mount tank. Okay. So let's go ahead and snap a picture of that. Um, so I go back here and I go to pool and I notice that this is a tank and this is this tank. I was, okay, that seems right. But wait a minute. I go to storage over here and I go to the pool. This one's called data one. So there's a problem with that. How do you fix that? Well, that's pretty, pretty straightforward. So here we are moded in. So let's go back. 
and take a look. Okay, so let's go to here. Let's go to Gales, CD Jails. And oh, there's my jail. Uh huh. Let's go into that jail. Uh, okay, so there it is. Now, because this is named different, uh, the pools are named different, we need to actually update that mount point. So we're going to go in the FS tab. And here you go. See, all those say tank. And then in our new system, it's not, that's not the correct mounting point. It's actually data one. So we need to go in here. We need to change all of these tanks to data one. So I'm going to do that real quick. And uh, then we'll save this file. Okay. So now I've went through there and I've changed every place where it said tank and changed it to data one. And so let's just go ahead and exit out of here and save this FS tab. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's go back to our plugins and see if it starts. It didn't start. Okay. So let's go back to our jail and click start. I see. So if you look at this, it says error starting the jail and then it couldn't locate the 12.1 release basically. So what that means is that you are missing the correct IO case. So let me just clear this and I'll show you. Uh, see what I go to. So here we are in our IO cage directory. Let's go to releases. And so you'll see that there's a 12.2 in here, and that's the only one you see. Okay. So, and you see how this says 12.1? Well, we don't have a 12.1, so we need to find that in order for it to have that base. So it, it, if you don't know it, basically you can equate jails to very similar to like Docker. It, it needs a base image to, to deal with that, to, to pull from. Okay. So... Back at the command line, we're going to do IO cage fetch. And so what that do, it's going to do is it's going to go out there and just get a list for us. Um, it might take it a second. So here's a list. We've got 11.234, and 13.0. Now, the one we're particularly missing is the 12.1. You see that the default is 12.2. So in order to click to select 12.1, we're going to hit 4 and then hit enter. And so that's going to fetch that 12.1 for us. And when that's done, I'll be able to type LS again and show you that you're going to get that extra, extra release in there. Now your mileage may vary a little bit. And if your releases match up, then you won't run into this error. But if you do, this is how you fix it. I want to point out something that this warning and and this warning is because this isn't you know like like i said i had two different versions of of TrueNAS here and one of them being older and so the the jail that's associated with that older one is older and this 2.1 or 12.1 you see that that end of life date and they see that january 30th thing so just keep in mind that that's one of the reasons why you want to update your your jails and your plugins every once in a while. So, so there you have it. Now, let me hit LS it and you will see that, let me just clear this so it's easier to see and do an LS. And now we see that we have the 12.1 and the 12.2 in there. So we shall go back over here, hit the close on this guy, and then go back to our plugin. Start it like we would normally. And if all things are great, it should start up. So there you have it. Start and stop. And manage, hit the manage. And in theory, boom, there we are with our next cloud instance. Now, I would also like to point out that right here, you have an issue. 
And this issue is because when you install Nextcloud on using the plugin, it is locked down to the specific IP address of that machine and not open to all IP addresses and all domains. So you will have to go in and edit the config file uh, in order to fix this issue. Now I've done that in another video, so I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. Uh, if you want to know that, just go ahead and find a, uh, find one of my videos on configuring Nextcloud. It's in there. It's pretty straightforward. You basically just, I'll just kind of walk you just real quick, tell you, uh, so you go to your plugin and then you go to the shell of the plugin and you navigate to that Nextcloud configuration and you add the change the old IP address to the new IP address and you're golden. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just do that. Okay, so here we are in that directory. And if you scroll on down here, you're going to see these IP addresses here. Now, all you need to do is change this to the correct IP address. Save that file. And now when I go over here and I hit a reload, We'll get a login. So there you have it. So there you have it. That's how you take a, a plugin or a jail from TrueNAS and you export it, import it, move it over to another machine. This is great. Now, in this particular case, we did Nextcloud. And so it took all the data that was in that Nextcloud because it's all in that gel in this particular case. And it zipped it up. And then we went SCP, we SCP'd it over to the, to the new machine and we imported it. And then we fixed the mount points and boom, you're good. Of course, we had to fix the IP address thing that I just showed you also. However, there is some other caveats. So if you had external mount points, for your data uh, when you configured that Nextcloud on. So if you're mounting your data on some other ZFS location, then that's gonna be broken too and you'll have to fix that too. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. By the way, if you found this to be a daunting task, go ahead and head over to getmetogeek.com and you can hire us for a project and we can do this for you if you want to do that. If you want to set up your own true NAS, and you don't want to do it yourself, go ahead and uh, we'd be happy to get that set it up for you. Uh, so check out our website. You can book appointments straight from there. Contact us and we're happy to uh, handle projects for you when it comes to TrueNAS, Proxmox, anything like that. If you want to go ahead and support my channel, you can buy me a coffee. So buy me a coffee link right above there. And uh, that's great. Or if you want to just help me out, a little bit by subscribing and thumbs up in this video. That is super helpful. Everything helps. See you next week. I am Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com.